never in my life had I heard of SMA until I started doing my own Google sleuthing, trying to figure out what was going on with my son um, as he went from, you know, a regular happy, healthy baby to slowly losing the ability to move. Um, and in my desperation for answers, I did come across SMA, um, like I said, on Google, but I ruled it out myself because my, my son thankfully didn't have any eating or breathing difficulties yet, um, even though he had lost a lot of his motor function. Um, but that was the first time when I saw it in my search and then I, I ruled it out, like I said, and then finally when we got the diagnosis, um, I learned a lot more about it. Fortunately, when my son was born in January 2018, um, New Jersey did not have SMA on the newborn screening panel, and it actually still does not. Um, we got a law passed in January 2020 that was supposed to have it added to the panel no later than July 2020, but COVID has thrown a wrench in that implementation, so we're still waiting for that. Um, but yes, my son was not tested for SMA. Um, he was born, like I said, happy, healthy baby, actually very strong, I thought, in the beginning months of his life. And then around six months, we started to notice that he wasn't doing certain things. Um, he wasn't doing tummy time anymore. He used to love to be on his stomach and keep his head up, looking around, rolling around, and he slowly stopped liking tummy time. He slowly stopped rolling. Um, he slowly stopped kicking his legs like he used to. Um, and it's something that was so subtle at first and so slow, and my husband and I are first-time parents, uh, so we had nothing to compare it to. Um, and that started our journey for diagnosis, which took us about four and a half months until we finally figured out what was going on. So it, just to you know, take you from the beginning of our diagnosis journey, we had brought him to the pediatrician who said, I don't really see anything wrong, but I'll schedule you with a neurologist. We took him to a neurologist. She said the same thing, you know, he might have some low muscle tone, but nothing to be scared about. Why don't you start some physical therapy and then come back in three months if nothing changes? Well, after two months of physical therapy, he had only gotten progressively worse. So we brought him back early. Um, she then referred us to a neuromuscular specialist, and that is when he was um, seen and the neuromuscular specialist turned to us and said, um, I'm really worried about him. That was what she said. Um, so obviously she couldn't diagnose without com a confirming genetic test, but she told us that day that she believed he had SMA. So um, just as a parent, you know, you're completely and utterly devastated, um, certainly angry that you know this could have been detected sooner before he had lost so much um, and really just trying to wrap your head around it so that you could basically for us start doing whatever we could to get him back to healthy again. Mm -hmm.